Dude, what? Dude, what? Noah, what? I don't know how to start this video that Mr. McDowell asks us to film for the virtues of a Fairfield night. When did he ask us to do that? It was like a month ago, dude. Listen. So I'm gonna write and film this. Ian, that's why we're here. Wait, you asked us to your there's a paper that says scripts. Oh. You invited us over, I can show you the conversation. Ooh. Okay, but why did he ask us to film it? Is my question because we're awful at being students, we exhibit none of these traits. What if we went around the school and just watched other students be good at being a knight? And then we just say and comment how we could have done that better. You know what I mean? That sounds like it might take a while to film. And it's probably going to be pretty expensive. Plus, we didn't even get a budget. True. What if we just filmed seven students in one classroom displaying these traits? Or not explain these traits, and we can work from there. That seems pretty easy. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs>
so I can be. No. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> Yeah, really confused how they expect 18 year olds to understand <laughs> algebra too, so. Honestly, all I see is letters. I thought this was a Preach, sister. You know, Alyssa's coming over here. She got an A last year, so maybe she can help. <laughs> well, no. Now, this was a poor example of generosity because instead of imparting knowledge and help onto the other students, Alyssa decided to be selfish and say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm better than you. And this is not really the kind of generosity we want to see. Hey man, I just got a copy of the answers for the, tomorrow's test. Do you want a copy? Uh, no thanks. I think I'm gonna study tonight on my own. Dude, it's like an easy A. Yeah, but I just, I don't think that's right. Alright, whatever. Now, this is an excellent, excellent example of integrity because even though Zoe was offered the exact answers to the test, she didn't take them because she wanted to earn her grade on her own. That shows that she is stuck to her morals and it just makes her a better person overall. Did anybody do the extra credit last night? No way, man. That was like 20 pages of writing. Plus, it's not even required. Like, we all have places to be. Why would the teacher assign something so unnecessary? It's super dumb. It's like, bro, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. What did we even have to do? It was like a literary analysis of the Tale of Two Cities or something. It was so it was, stupid, I, I don't even know good. why. Why? Why? So like, time for that. why? Now, this was an excellent display of courage by Zoe, because in the face of a 20-page assignment that was analyzing A Tale of Two Cities, which we all know is a hard book, she decided to just, you know, go and do it. Um, because it would boost her grade, and she wanted to tackle that on, so great use of courage. Alright, so you know that kid with the white hat? He's their weakest link. If we just spike him in the face, we can get him out, and we can win this thing. Yeah, no, like we can't do that. We, like, have to earn our points. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyway. No, you can't. Fine, whatever. Alright. One, two, three, BREAK! Obviously in that clip, I did not display mercy, because rather than going easy on my obviously weaker opponent, I decided to take advantage of him and, you know, not play the game nicely. I was not very happy with what happened. All stones were real. Actors were hurt. Guys, I really don't know what classes I'm going to take. Ricky, what are you going to take? I'm taking all easy classes this year. There's no point in challenging myself senior year. Why don't you do that to yourself, man? I'm taking as many hard classes as I can. I want to see what I can achieve. You know what? You're right. I'm going to challenge myself. This was an excellent example of scholarship. While Ricky could have chosen not to push himself, he decided to push himself in the pursuit of knowledge. So, Ian, why were we uh, filming that little thing about virtues earlier today? Well, our school has this program called the Schoolwide Positive Behavior and Intervention Supports, or SWPBIS for short. Yeah, and if you display any of these virtues that we demonstrated, uh, for example, resolve, enterprise, integrity, courage, scholarship, generosity, and mercy, you have the chance to win a golden ticket as themed by a teacher. You know, they say that you deserve it. These are golden tickets, and with they these are. babies, possibilities are endless. Um, I don't know, you can do a bunch of impractical things, light them on fire, they burn good. 
stuff like that. Or you can turn them into the office and then have the chance to win little lottery things. So, you know, um, if you're one of five, you can have your name read on the announcements. Uh, just, you know, get recognized or you can win a gift card. Hmm. Well, another awesome thing about these is that it can be used for the monthly lottery. A monthly winner can go into the end of the year trip designed for golden ticket winners. Or if you have enough golden tickets at the end of the year, you can also go. The opportunities are really cool and you can be rewarded for just being a good citizen. Uh, looks like I'm going to be a good student next year. That'd be a first. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully you learned how to be a virtuous knight. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about the seven virtues. Remember, strive for greatness. Oh, it's out.